Hey guys, my name is Matimio and welcome to my show. So the CEO of Activision, Eric Hirschberger, has come out and made some comments about their Call of Duty franchise. He says that the future success and their success currently for Call of Duty has been because of new innovation and big appeal. And I get the whole big appeal. They've got the big appeal down pack, but I'm not exactly sure what they mean by innovation. I mean, they what they do, they do very well. Call of Duty 4, I'd say, was a big step in innovation. They they tried out a lot of new things. They were very successful, and that is one of the games that really launched the Call of Duty franchise to the point it is right now. But ever since then, they've been really just kind of refining things, which has been around the perks, the kill streaks, the weapons, and their attachments. And that's okay. There is nothing wrong with what they're doing because, as I said, this appeals to a very large audience. And what they do, they do reasonably well. I know some people will argue with me that Call of Duty franchise doesn't do what they do well. But the majority of people would say that Call of Duty is fun. It's a lot of fun to play. And the reason that is is because they've kind of refined their system and it works. But I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be doing that's going to be all that innovative in the future. I mean, first-person shooters in general kind of struggle with this concept because being a first-person shooter, you're very limited by what you can do. You have a gun, you have attachments that you can use, but in general, you just kind of shoot some people. So I'm kind of interested to see what this, you know, the CEO of Activision means. Maybe in the near future we will get to see what they've been working on and what kind of innovation he is talking about. But uh, interesting to say the least. Uh, but I'm curious, what would you like to see done to the Call of Duty franchise? What innovation would you like to see them implement into that, you know, into their games? Let me know uh, down below. Now, many of you have probably played an MMO. You may have played World of Warcraft, you may have picked up Guild Wars 2. MMOs were big back in the day, and I'd say they're still very popular as of right now. And Mark Jacobs, the guy that brought us Dark Age of Camelot, I've, I've talked about this in a, in a previous video, Dark Age of Camelot was one of my favorite games of all time. Nostalgia like crazy, it had a fantastic PvP system, and really the game was, it revolved around PvP or Realm versus Realm is what it was referred to in that game and he is creating a new game called Camelot Unchained which is pretty much Dark Age 2.0. It's not called that, and it's going to have its own universe, but he says that he's going to be trying to make a PvP system in a realm versus realm system that's going to kind of have the same feel of Dark Age of Camelot. So I personally am really excited for this game, but then he's come out and said that he wants there to be some random elements to it. So if you are casting a fireball, let's say you're a mage, you're you're charging up your fireball, you you fling it at an enemy, uh, instead of incinerating them, it might turn them into a butterfly, or it might do something kind of random. He wants there to be a sense of randomness in the game, so that you have these really cool moments every once in a while, while it's going to suck to be on the receiving end of it, uh, it's going to be kind of fun to talk about with your friends, and it's going to mix things up. Uh, so while it's kind of cool in concept, you know, having your fireball turn into a fairy, that will be interesting. When you're, when you're centering your game around PvP, which is what he said he wants it to be, to have a lot of random factors happen often isn't, isn't really the recipe for success. When I play in a game for player versus player, I want to make sure that I am, well, getting better at it. I want to, I want to be the best that I can be and I want to outplay someone to kill them and that, that brings me satisfaction. But when things happen randomly, that's why I don't like dodge in games and I don't, you know, critical strikes are okay, I guess. He he said that he doesn't really want crit critical hits, uh, so that's that's cool. But to have a lot of random factors kind of just flung in there doesn't do it, and it gets really annoying. Uh, so I'll be interested to see kind of how he approaches this, maybe if it happens once every 200 times you do something, or once every 500 times, a very small amount. Cool in concept, but I'm not sold quite yet. So the final story for today is Battlefield related. You guys know me. I'm a huge Battlefield fan. And apparently EA has come out and said that uh, Battlefield 3 is still really popular. Apparently, we got some stats here. They, they say that every 15 minutes, uh, a Battlefield 3 players throw 3.9 million grenades and destroy 648,000 vehicles on average. Like that is that is a lot of things going on. And I think another cool one was uh and 20 or yeah, 24 million explosions are happening 
during in the battlefield every 15 minutes. So for me personally, I'm just glad to see that the game isn't dying. I mean, it, it's it's definitely diminished. There's not as many people playing as it was, you know, a year ago when the game first came out. But it's good to see that people are continuing to play Battlefield, and I'm sure that when the fourth one comes out, there's going to be even more. I mean, I, I really feel like they did a good job with this game, and people will argue with me. They'll they'll say that you know it's very buggy still, and yes, there are some bugs. But in general, this is one of the best first-person shooters out there, and they have done a good job and it, it's shown and it just kind of shows in the quality that we've gotten and also the amount of people that continue to play so hats off to you guys at dice for creating this game not a very meaty story by any means but it's just always good to see that people are still playing one of my favorite games out there uh but those are all the stories that i have for today i hope you enjoyed so until tomorrow have a good one and take it easy